Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we'll work on exercise number 37. To start off, we'll go to File, New, and we'll select a new part template. And once the part template is open, we'll go for the Sketch tool, the Sketch tab and the Sketch tool. And we need to decide, the first thing to decide is to select the plane that you would like to start the sketch with. As I can see here, the larger portion is this, so I will definitely go for the right plane. And uh, first thing, I will just do this particular rectangle. So one thing that you can do in this would be that uh, you can identify that uh, if the model is symmetric. So as I can see here, the model is symmetric with respect to the plane that you, we were about to sketch. So I think it's better if we can uh, sketch it from the, uh, I'll just go for the sketch here and I'll rotate it a little bit. So maybe we can start the sketch from the front plane here and we can do this portion. So I'll go for centered rectangle. I'll just create this rectangle here and start dimensioning it. So to dimension that, the total length from here, this point to this point is 60. So I'll just mention 60 here. And this height would be This height would be, you need to see this is 32, and this is 36, and this is 32, 64, 64, and 70, and 100. So 100 over here. So as you see the model, you can see that there are certain, uh, looks a little complicated, but you don't have to worry. Uh, the model will be uh, generated as we go on with the sketch. So we'll go for extrude bosom base. I'll just uh, reverse direction and uh, maybe we can just give it on both sides so as you can see there is a symmetry on this as well so I'll just give 50 50 50 each on both directions double enter we'll confirm that model now we have this 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 particular block here and now the next thing we can do would be mm, let's create this slot here the slot so we'll just select this face and go here and we'll create the slot so we'll basically um, maybe I'll just create a rectangle and just select the edge of this rectangle and this and go for collinear and then go for the width of this line that would be 16 and uh, the height would be and the height as you see here this is 12 so we'll go, we'll, we'll uh, enter the height 12, exit the sketch. Um, 
I'll just go inside the sketch for a second and just see if it's fully constrained. Control 8. As you can see, the sketch doesn't seem to be fully constrained. So that means that there is a problem. And uh, as we see that this is not properly placed, so we'll uh, drag the sketch. And uh, we'll just draw a center line from here. And then we'll click this point and this line. We'll do constant. And now you can see that the sketch is fully constrained. So it's always a good habit to check before you exit the sketch or before you give any feature. Just make sure that the sketch is fully constrained, that it has turned to the black color. Now select that particular sketch there and then go for um, extruded cut. And you can go for up to next. Click on the tick mark to confirm that. Now we have this basic shape here. Now we can again select this face here and again go for sketch. Press control 8 once so we'll have the other side. And now we can do this model here. So basically I'll draw a line here from here to here, from here to here. This one, this one. All right. Now use a smart dimension and give 30 here, okay? And uh, we'll select this. We'll just draw a center line. And we'll select one, control two, and this line. And then go for symmetric. We have that symmetry there. And we need to give this height, that is 10. Alright, now we can see that the sketch is fully constrained. Exit the sketch now and then go for extrude and extrude at a length of 60. So 60 on this side. Okay, so you need to go back once again. Edit features and reverse the direction of the sketch. Now we have the model here. And now what we can do next would be we can create a sketch we can create this portion here so to do that select the sketch and then go for sketch on the right plane and create control mill mouse button to pan it a little bit and we'll just try to create the profile there and almost you don't need the exact thing but almost you can try to create that and select this line here then go for convert entities so that that line is being projected and you can just control select this point and then go for coincident you can go for trim entities and trim the uh, extra portion. Smart dimension and start dimensioning it. So that would be 10. And uh, you can assume that this is 10 as well. And what about this? This would be 10 again. And this should be 10 again. And this overall height would be, you can see that this is, what is, uh, this is 40. And this is 10, this is 10, so this should be 60. All right. Now this. width 30 this is 10 this is 10 
from length okay this is 30 and this is 20 so that should be 50 right so you can simply give this as 50 and what else need to be constrained this is okay this is 30 30 plus 20 so this is 50 but uh, we are creating till here right so we have to reduce this projected length so what is that projected length mm, you have to analyze the sketch properly so mm, it should be this is 10 this is 10 20 and from here do we have any dimension mm. doesn't seem like we have any mm. so if we don't have then we can just assume that that was 10 and give it here so that we have that 10 projected here and uh, if the sketch is not fully constrained try to move the sketch as you can see this is where we need the constraint again so um, what we can do next would be thirty two diameter is forty so this should be So it's not mentioned here that uh, this rectangle or this line is exactly at the center, but we can assume it's so. So we'll just draw a line. And then what we can do is we can select this line here, and this line, and this line. And then we can go for symmetric so now you can see that it's fully constrained now exit the sketch here and then go for features extrude bosom base and give this width here so that is how much mm, 30 right 30 so 15 on both sides double enter so we have that confirmed there and another thing you can do is select this face give sketch and just uh, convert entities for that sketch and then go for exit sketch and then you can go for extrude cut you can go for up to next click on the tick mark so we have that slot open And now what we can do is select this face here and go for the sketch and create a circle of diameter 40. And uh, you can also create a rectangle of uh, 16 and 20 exit the sketch here and then go for extrude reverse direction and that would be at 30 so this should be 30 here double enter okay now let it be like this Oops, I'm not really not able to understand why that was not taken. Mm. Okay. Okay. So this sketch is done. Select this and all of this 
and then go for extrude all right and now all right you can give 10 on this direction and another 20 on this direction right another 20 on this direction so now you can see that so now we have to give this circular portion right so once we complete that circular portion we'll almost have the shape of whatever we are trying to create so that would be 50 50 so over here circle and the diameter is 80 exit the sketch and extrude bosom base you can extrude it at a height of 30 all right I can select that face here and go for the sketch and create a rectangle and use a smart dimension and dimension this rectangle to 16 and select the circle here convert entities and use a trim and trim all these portions all right now Uh, the dimension is gone so as you have trimmed that the dimension was gone so that's done here and what else and just try to move the sketch okay so that's the problem there so you give eight eight on both sides I think eight on one side would do. Exit the sketch now and then go for extruded cut at a depth of 12. So that has confirmed that. And now you can see that there is a hollow section here. So you need to identify where exactly is the hollow section. So maybe you can uh, select this face and start giving the sketch and start analyzing you can simply maybe uh, draw a maybe you can simply draw a rectangle here somewhat like this and select this edge control select this and now Select this line and this. Oops. Let me zoom in a little bit. Select this line and this line. Control select that line. Collinear. And this width would be 36. And now you can drag this outwards. So let me first just draw a line, a center line here and then drag this and now select this point and this edge and then go for midpoint so that's set at the midpoint and now select the circle the portion of the circle so and go for convert entities and you can simply use the trim command to trim all this oops trim entities to trim all these unwanted portions of the circle so we have that almost that section that you would like to do the slot so you can just simply select the slot and click on next up to next and uh, open that slot there so as we can see in the drawing we have that slot so we can basically go to this portion and just cut extrude 
and then go for mirror where is the mirror mm, yeah mirror and then you can simply use this mirror and create on the other side as well so we have we almost have the model now let's see if uh, we have missed out anything uh, I don't think there is anything missing in this now we have this we have this we have this version we have this and we have yeah we have all so that's about uh, exercise number 37 this I understand that this is a little tricky but and also I haven't uh, edited uh, the video where I got stuck so that uh, you would understand that uh, anybody can start and get stuck uh, when you uh, design so the thing is that you um, you solve one problem at a time so you finally end up with the complete model so when you face a problem do not uh, simply ignore that try to find out the problem try to solve that and then move ahead or else if your base is not proper and then you just move ahead if you're feeling that one dimension is missing or if you're feeling that your sketch is not fully constrained and if you just m keep moving ahead then you're gonna end up making a wrong model so try to practice as much as you can and I uh, hope you enjoyed also don't forget to press the notification bell that you can see right uh, uh, beneath or uh, right next to my uh, channel name how engineers do it so that you will get regular updates thank you and stay tuned